Hello, dear friends. What a blessing to be here with you. And tonight, we're together again. God blessing us with the opportunity of studying another article from the Spiritist magazine. And today, as always, I'm going to encourage you to visit the website spiritistmagazine.org where you can download the PDF version of the magazine. That's what you're seeing on the screen next to me. You can order the physical copy of the magazine and you can download the app for the Spiritist magazine. So there are many ways that we can read and access the beautiful teachings of Spiritism. There's many of them first time in English and all of them extremely important for our spiritual, mental, and psychological goals during this lifetime. It's always a blessing to be here. If we haven't met before, my name is Shane Martin. I broadcast from the Spirit Society of Richmond in Richmond, Virginia, and I'm blessed to have this collaboration with Kardec Radio where we bring to you one of the issues of the magazine. And what you're seeing on the screen next to me is the article we're gonna be talking about today. It's from issue 23, entitled About Physical Infirmities. We chose this article today, as you can see, not very long, but very deep. And it's from the spirit, Dr. Bezier de Menezes, where he is gonna tell us a little bit about what happens when you and I become ill, when we have a physical illness or a mental illness or a psychological illness. And we're not talking about this, the help that we receive. On the times on the earth where we see a lot of different populations and areas affected by COVID-19. We also have to remember that this is one pandemic of many that humankind has experienced. And we also have many, many other diseases that I can afflict our bodies. So what happened? What is the message that our dear Bezerra de Menezes is telling us about? And if you look at what I'm showing to you is I went to the magazine, spiritismagazine.org, and I downloaded the PDF of the article. And that's what you're seeing is my screen on my computer where I'm sharing with you this. And this article was published in 2013. This is the cover of the magazine for that year. And as you can see, very well done, high quality, where we can read right off the bat. If you want to download as well for to your phone, if you go back a few episodes, I've shown you the screenshot of my phone where I have the app. And you can have the app and use it many times. And you calmly browse through all the teachings. For example, this one here is from the book, Good News, by the Spirit Brother X, which is Umberto de Campos, <clears throat> through the mediumship of Francisco Cândido Xavier. The book of news is translated and is waiting publication by the publisher, which we hope will come soon. Here's another book that is still yet to be published. All you can read here is the book Spiritist Conduct by the medium Valdo Vieira. And this is by the spirit Andra Luis. So if you scroll down to <clears throat> towards the end of the magazine, you'll find this article here and it's titled about physical infirmities. So if we are sick today, if you're feeling someone in our life who is not as well as they could be, let's talk a little bit about it. Make sure you can read well the font and we're gonna focus on one paragraph at a time. So the spirit busy the Menezes start by saying, let us count upon the help of our divine physician so that our physical body can reach full recovery. 
let us rest and apply restorative treatment. So he's telling us, let us count upon the help of Jesus. Christ Jesus is our divine physician. He's here taking care of each and every one of us at all times. And he will send his messengers to care for us when we are ill. Yes, he will. We may not be healed or cured because all that happens in our lives is also beneficial to our evolutionary progress. Yet he's there. He's caring for us. And how how do we do this? He will tell us. So let us keep our faith firm as we trust Jesus is our highest breadwinner. The Lord will not fail us with his divine mercy. Even if it feels like we are ill and we are left alone, you are not alone. We saw that last week. There are many ways that we are in partnership with the spiritual realm and God's divine mercy will not abandon us. That's why we need to be faithful that Christ, our divine physician, will bring us the help that we need. But we need to believe. We need to have faith in God and its designs. And if you go to the book Genesis by Alan Kardec, you're going to find that divine providence is God's care for all creatures. God is the divine intelligence, first cause of all things, right? So we need to think about divine providence being what God, all the resources God has put towards our benefit. So as we understand more of ourselves and why we are even more understanding of the physical body and the very spiritual bodies, then we can tap into those resources and be able to use those resources more effectively. We need to be faithful. <clears throat> what else does he say? You say, friends who are infirm of the body, medical treatment will always, will continue always under the inspiration of your spiritual friends who follow through your recovery. Let us keep accurate care regarding nourishment and in complying with fair times for rest. Let us preserve ourselves and trust Jesus today and always. Let's think this through these two paragraphs. Are you infirm in your physical body? Very few of us will go through our lives without getting you without getting into a state of dis-ease where something in our body doesn't go as well as we would like it to. Some of us hopefully will experience this temporarily and will be able to seek medical treatment. Some other of us will have more of a chronic illness of the body. All experiences are meritorious. And we have to think about here, it says here, medical treatment will continue always under the inspiration of the spiritual friends who follow through your recovery. So the power of medicine, as it states today in this physical world, is under the inspiration of the divine friends. So when physical medicine is allowed to develop different treatments, different prevention measures such as a vaccine, different pharmaceutical agents that can be used to treat disease and some medical apparatus and new techniques such as new surgical techniques, new transplantation techniques, so on and so forth. All of this difference happened first in the spiritual realm, which is our true home. Then we, under their inspiration, developed those techniques and resources on the earth. And then we are blessed with being able to use those medical treatments to help ourselves. He's implying here that we need to, when we can, make use of the medical treatment. We should use science and technology to take good care of the physical vessel, 
the blessed physical vessel that you and I have as incarnate beings on the earth. And we are blessed on this country. No cardiac grade is international. So the quality of medical care will, will be different in different parts of the world. It's still something to for the planet Earth to work on. Yet, how many billions of folks would love to be able to have what we have in terms of medical treatment? How many preventable diseases people are dying of daily because they don't have the resources that a rich country like ours has because I'm broadcasting from the US, right? So he's saying medical treatment is under the inspiration of spiritual experience. So when we are first learning about spiritism, spirituality uh, in general, we cannot disdain everything that is physical. We need to work together because you're multidimensional. Your spirit, very spirit and physical body. So if God blessed us a physical body and God granted us the opportunity of a divine physician such as Jesus to allow certain treatments to come to us, we need to take advantage of it. We cannot disdain physical and just stay with metaphysical. We need to use them together. So I go to a physician and I ask for treatment for something. Then I also pray. I also nourish my soul with good books, good reading. I trim the news that I receive. I trim the bad garbage programs that I may be watching on different platforms so that we can work with a psychologist. We can work with a psychiatrist. We can work on the Spiritist Center with Fraternal Counseling. So it's a multidimensional approach. He's saying, because he's saying here, medical treatment is under the inspiration of divine friends. And he's giving us a tip. Keep accurately regarding regard nourishment and complying with times for rest. So it's important for us to understand that what you put in your body in, acts on, upon the physical body and may promote or not physical health or may promote illnesses or may promote health. Yet, let's preserve ourselves and trust Jesus today and always. Christ is at the helm. In times of difficulties, it's sometimes hard for us to realize that Christ is in charge because we are fed consistently negative, negativity, relentlessly, because that's what sells. Yet, how many millions of people, billions of people get out of their houses every day to help others, to serve others, and to be within their communities? So we need to focus on taking good care of ourselves without vanity and selfishness because we want to preserve the physical vessel so that you can have as many years as your reincarnatory plan has allowed you to so you can continue to do the good. It's not about vanity and having the perfect social media picture, but it's about using well the physical resources that we have received, be them health, beauty, um, a body without disabilities, a brain that works, ability to speak, and years of healthy activity where we can be together with our incarnate beings and be of service to all. Okay. Let's say you, we are sick. Who is with us when we are sick? He says, several spirit friends help us for our physicians when we undergo illnesses. Do you know that? It's all over the books of Andrea Louise, the presence of spirit physicians, spirit nurses, spirit therapists. So when we are sick, when we know someone is sick, when we go to the doctor, we need to pray. When we are in the waiting room or waiting in our cars, waiting to be called in, because we are respecting social distance, we understand in a way our illnesses can be transmitted to others. We need to, instead of scrolling through our phones mindlessly, Take a few moments to pray for the receptionist, for those who are calling in distress, for those who are sitting next to you who are there to receive treatment. And we pray that our physicians can be inspired, our physician assistants and nurse practitioners can be inspired to prescribe the right thing for us, to diagnose the right disease at the right time. So they 
the spirit friends are helping us. They may not be telling us directly what we need, maybe going to this hospital, your loved ones in the hospital, pray for those physical healthcare workers there because the spirit mentors of them can inspire and say, look at this value, look at that treatment. Maybe we can try this because they are constantly trying to help us. So we are never alone, even though we may not be allowed to visit them in the hospital, depending on where in the world we are, because we are trying to contain a disease that is easily spread through um, droplets. We may not be allowed in there yet. They're not alone. Our infirm brothers and sisters, shall I say, will always be under the care of spirit friends under the climate of prayer to Jesus. So that when we see them brave and serene within the overcoming of their present physical state, let us ask Jesus to bless and sustain us today and forever. It's almost like a prayer, right? So when we see people in hospitals, when we know someone we love who is in a hospital or even at home, we stay in this climate of prayer. One day on the earth, we'll be like no solar because we talk so much about Nosolar, right? Our home. And all the inhabitants of Nosolar commit to praying every day at the same time together. They commit to not having lower level instincts thoughts because they know that their thoughts can affect the protection and the functioning of the entire colony. That's where we're gonna be one day. In Nosolar also, People have medical care. All of the spirits who arrive have medical care if they weren't to be in the Nosolar. They all have shelter. They all have food. They all have clothing. Nobody's sleeping on the streets. Nobody is being bankrupt by medical care or not having medical care. So that's what we aim to be one day where all humans count. And if we are the ones sick, we can visualize our spirit mentors with us. But then we have to be this under this climate of prayer to who? To the divine physician, Jesus, so that we see them brave and serene within their becoming of our physical state. Now, I'm going to focus on this, overcoming of the present physical state. Dear friends, this physical body that we have today, blessed as it is, is temporary. We've had many ones before. And our present physical state is a combination of what we did in the past, what we're here to do, and the grace of God. So if you go to the book Evolution into Worlds, which we have a playlist on Kardec Radio, you're going to learn the evolution of the spirit principle and the spirit over time. I mean, over time, over, over billions of years since the formation of the earth. And we're going to learn there that our spirit's mind, when we are in the human kingdom, controls each and every molecule, atom, cell of our very spiritual bodies that in turn are connected to the physical bodies. And then in that sense, our thoughts, our minds control the physical state of our, our, of our body. For this life by Emmanuel. So when we find ourselves with certain bodies in certain places on the earth, certain characteristics, certain genes, and then certain environments, all of that interacts to determine the physical state we have yet. Even if it's difficult, if it's painful, if it's challenging, it's still a learning opportunity that we need to undergo through to accelerate the teachings and this blossoming of love within us, they can allow us to be of service to all of humanity. So this is a present physical state, it's not forever. Yet, when we are firm, the spirit friends are with us. We need to be mindful when we visit people in hospitals, when we visit them in our homes, when we are giving them something, maybe a dinner train where you're bringing dinner to families when they're in, in times of need. We need to be mindful that our presence there, if we have been granted the opportunity of helping, it shouldn't be in the state of sleep. We need to mindfully 
pray that that food can be nourished and pray that our presence can be um, uplifting. We maybe won't be able to visit them, but we can do a, a, a tele visit. You know, we can use our phones to do a video call so that we can pray with them, we can read a message, we can put their names in the book of prayers in our center. So there's so much we can do knowing that the spirit friends are there and all they need is for us to help them. Isn't that beautiful? <clears throat> he will continue by saying, in order for our convalescent brothers or sisters to show significant and safe improvement, we ask them to keep their thoughts away from absorbing con concerns so that their energies are recovered with the needed solidity. May Jesus bless them. So when we are seeking to get better, to show significant and safe improvement, we need to keep our thoughts away from absorbing concerns. So we need to stop. We need to stop and self-evaluate. What are my current patterns of thoughts? What am I worrying about? Am I giving into fear and despair? Or am I able to keep myself serene so that my energies can be recovered? And remember, say, significant and safe improvement. We should always pray that the will of God be done. We, we should always pray that whatever is best for that person happens. And of course, we want everybody to be cured and healed and have a fulfilling and healthy life so they can give back to the planet and receive them and to the rest of their human um, kind friends and family yet we don't know only god knows what's best for us and the divine physician is there helping us now spiritual friends will always be active in the concourse in regard to the treatment of our infirm brothers and this book is from, is from uh, this passage is from the book Apelos Cristãos by Dr. Bezerra de Menezes, psychographed by Chico Xavier in 1986, way before we are more understanding of the behind the scenes of diseases. Hmm? Now, dear friends, I want to encourage you to see yourself as an active participant on the healing of yourself and others around you. Remember, every time we commit to doing something useful, we are working. That's the law of labor, the law of work in this first book. And when we understand, when we know that the spirit friends are with us, because we are never alone, when we know that the spirits have influence in our thoughts and our actions more than we understand according to this spirit book, when we know of their spiritual reality, we don't despair, even if our family members and friends are ill, even if they discriminate, because we know in the spiritual realm, the spirit friends are there to help them. And remember, whatever reasonable, of course, when you seek medical treatment, remember the medical treatment is under the guidance of spirit friends. So we need to use our brains and study and read scientifically valid information. We need to consult those who spend their life studying to deliver medical care. And we have to take into consideration our own needs in combination with psychological care, emotional care, spiritual care, fraternal counseling, prayer, gospel at home, the whole thing. We need to see ourselves as multidimensional beings who need multimodal um, treatments and abilities. But when we see someone in hospital, when we look at the news and we see the numbers of, of people lost to COVID alone, COVID-19 alone, plus all the regular diseases that our physical bodies will incur because no flesh, we will die one day of something. Right? We might as well treat our bodies well, seek the medical treatment we need, seek the spiritual treatment that we need so that we can die of natural causes. When we are old and the physical body cannot sustain life anymore and then 
that's when our vitality, vitality extinguishes itself and then we are able to discriminate with a loosening of our, our ties. So visualize this, the hospitals around you, the clinics, the treatments. Always visualize the both sides of life. Visualize the physicians being inspired, the nurses being inspired, the cleaning people being inspired so they can work on prevention of diseases as well. The administrators who are caring for everyone so we have a way of living and caring for our family members is a multi-dimensional institution from those who take care of the physical buildings all the way to those who prescribe the medication. Visualize yourself as an agent of co-creation and goodness with God. So that every time someone you know is ill, we know that the spirit friends, according to Dr. Vizier de Menezes, are with us. That's my wish for you during this night and i hope that throughout the week we can be a vessel for the good spirits to act through us helping all who come our way in both realms of life and dear friends thank you so very much for joining me and until next week when we see you again take care stay well stay safe i'll see you soon